Jinx review. What's up? Welcome to Jinx Inc. I'm Courtney, and in this video, we are making a sculpture um, with polymer clay, and we're going to be using some natural materials too to add to the look of the sculpture. <laughs> And so in this sculpture, what we're going to do is I'm going to be taking um, a snake and it's going to be squaring off with a poison dart frog. And so the first thing I have here is my wood. And then I also have these rocks here. Oh, they're probably salty a little. So let's go clean these rocks off with some like soap and water and then let them dry out in the sun a little bit. And then uh, sand up this piece of wood, take a look at the rough drawing I have and start making the armature wire for the sculpture. Let's sand this wood block nice and smooth and then drill holes for the armature wire to go through, clean up the rocks with some soap and water and wire bristle. And as we drill a hole through the rock, we're gonna let water run on it to make the drilling smooth as possible. Now for some serious sketching. First impression of this super sculpey. It's a lot more, I don't know. It doesn't have too much different of a feeling than the other two. As far as like the texture of it, it's not that different. I like the way it feels. It feels like it's gonna be maybe even a little bit easier to smooth around. It smells a little different. We're gonna take some armature wire, the length that I want the snake to be, and wrap some smaller wire around it so that the clay has something to grip. Roll out a giant snake of clay, cut it open with the X-Acto knife. Smooth as not to go all the way down to the bottom. We don't wanna cut it in half, we just wanna cut it open so that we can put the wire inside so that it has a nice skeletal bendable skeleton thingy. Armature. Yeah. Now I'm just shaping the head out of some tin foil and I'm gonna stick a little wire through it so that I can attach it back to the body once I'm finished sculpting it. And then just put some thin layers of clay and build it up slowly and shape it into the shape I want the head to be. Take a medium sized ball stylus for the eyes, roll some little uh, snakes of clay to go around the eye sockets so that it looks cool. And as you can see, I'm just adding clay around the neck and smoothing it out so that it looks like one piece and not like I just attached a head to a body. And as for the scales, we're just gonna take a mechanical pencil and make a little pattern all over. <laughs> now I'm gonna lay down some flat clay that I rolled out and I'm gonna mark it evenly using the grid below me to kind of guide my cuts. And we'll just cut these little rectangles here that we're gonna place along the belly um, for the ridges and then smooth it on out. For the eyes, we're gonna use some cabochons so that we can apply some folk art glow-in-the-dark paint to really make those eyes something special. Kids really like it. So for the frog, we're gonna do the head and the body separate at first by just um, bulking out each one with the uh, tin foil. And then once I have a shape that I like on both of them, we're just gonna put them together with a little wire and some clay to make it a cohesive piece and then just start adding clay and taking away where necessary. And um, I, I find that I like to use the silicone shaper and the spoon tool the most, and my own hands really, just to smooth everything out and get uh, exactly what I want. And then of course the X-Acto knife is what I use to cut various pieces of clay.
Now I'm sculpting the little toes and this was definitely the most difficult part of the sculpture since they're so tiny and uh, you don't want to mess up what you've already sculpted and you got to get in the little, little creases and everything to smooth it out all nice and good. Um, it was definitely fun but the most challenging. Now that it's all sculpted, I can let you know that I used about a quarter of a block of one pound clay. So uh, this stuff goes a long way. Now on to the painting. Um, last thing I wanna say was it was kinda difficult to paint the toes. The toes kept snapping off if I applied too much pressure uh, or held it in the wrong spot while I was trying to paint around it. I heard that if you use a little bit of a sturdier clay when it's baked like Sculpey Primo, it might help prevent um, the smaller, more fragile pieces from breaking off as easily. So I might try that the next time and see if that helps. As I'm painting, I'm really just putting every color on with very light layers uh, and building the color up. I find that that gives it the best result. I have my little, we're gonna try the UV resin and we're gonna put a little pigment in it, this epoxy pigment. I have a flashlight. You put a few drops of this stuff in here. Put two drops of that. You can see over there. No, I can't blue. see really good. Ooh, that's really. Whoa, it's already starting to harden. No more resin real quick since this stuff seems to be drying really fast mix this up i guess the sun is already starting to dry it and then let's just kind of pour this on So my overall experience with this clay was fantastic. I love the way it felt. I love the way the paint went on it. Out of the three clays that I've tried so far, the Sculpey uh, Primo, the Fima Professional, and this Super Sculpey, the Super Sculpey is definitely my favorite. The UV resin was really cool to work with too. Um, working outside in the sun probably wasn't the best idea because the UV is what cures it, but I was trying to use an open space so I wouldn't be breathing in any of the fumes which were non-existent. I mean, I didn't sit there and sniff it, but I couldn't really smell anything. But I know with working with this kind of chemical, it's best to not breathe it in anyway. But overall, this was a very fun sculpt. I love the experience and I highly recommend trying it out. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a like, leave a comment. And if you wanna see more creative art content, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, be kind, stay positive, and keep creating.